This Week in Agribusiness. Serving America's most essential industry is brought to you by ADM. We're back and we're glad you are joining us here on This Week in Agribusiness. And Max, I guess farmers aren't the only folks who hold conventions this time of year. There's one we always attend, the yes. National Agri-Marketing Association Conference. We've been members of that association for many years. And these are the people basically who communicate with farmers and ranchers on behalf of companies and cooperatives and associations. Scott McClure with a St. Louis-based advertising agency, the Brighton Agency, was chairman of the NAMA conference this year held in Kansas City. It's the one chance, I think, that we get to come together as agribusiness professionals, uh, connect, talk about the business, talk about where it's going, and, and how we continue to be successful in this great industry agriculture. You know, uh, I think most of us that are in this business are proud uh, to support farmers and, and the, the farmers' uh, great objective of, of feeding the world. Um, but it's not about status quo and, and doing the same thing year after year, Max. I mean, you know, I'm an old guy. I've been around for a while. Uh, uh, what worked? 10 years ago may not be working today and may not especially work 10 years from now. Well, now just a little more about this group known as NAMA, the National Agri-Marketing Association. The president of the association is a longtime friend of ours, Paul Rettage, with FMC Agricultural Products. I ask him just who those members are anyway. National Agri-Marketing Association, uh, Max, is actually was started in Chicago decades ago. Today, it's really made up of agri-marketers, uh, communicators, folks from uh, media, agricultural media, uh, companies, associations, organizations, all of us that are involved in helping support agriculture and farmers when it comes to producing food to feed a growing world population. Farmers and ranchers see the results of your work or they hear it in many instances and they may not recognize that that's a member of NAMA there. Absolutely, and so many of our uh, members are involved either in training programs, in advertising, communications, uh, materials to try to help farmers be more productive. And in many cases, they're providing products and services in the market. In some cases, there are organizations that are taking forward issues uh, to folks in Washington or to the public in general. More farmers and ranchers have realized the importance of communicating their message and that's had to be gratifying for you to watch uh, over the years that you've been involved in agri-marketing to see that farmers are embracing telling their story. Uh, they absolutely are and actually today we see more and more uh, farmers, uh, USFRA as an example, where the group of farm organizations are coming together saying, hey, we need to take our story to the consuming public, to the voting public, because there's a lot of issues we need to partner, help them understand about the production of their food. That has changed, I think, a lot. And that's another uh, effort that I would like to see uh, is that can we bring maybe some of these farmers uh, more into NAMA because a lot of our program efforts on professional development, not just networking, but professional development, helping us to become better at communicating and training and marketing. And now that a lot of farmers are taking those messages forward themselves, uh, I think they could benefit from that. And we don't have a lot of farmers per se as members of the National Agri-Marketing Association. You just reminded me that in fact, many NAMA members do get involved in training producers on how to better get that message out there. You know, today when it comes to media, broadcast media, uh, web, online, apps, uh, it, we see so many farmers who uh, maybe were somewhat computer literate, but have almost jumped past uh, some of those mediums all the way to apps today because they're so convenient uh, to use when they're in the field to track what's going on in the field or learn about products or quickly get an answer to a question they have. Now, thanks to Paul Redditch with FMC Agricultural Products. A little bit later in the broadcast, you'll find out why this meeting is such an attraction for us each year because of the involvement of young people. They come from college campuses across the country.